Hey everybody, good morning. Well, I'm gonna start my morning off like I always do. Coming on down. Already got myself ready so y'all missed that part, but it's time to get to work. Let's get some shipping done this morning. But first, I gotta let the doggies out. Come on, baby. Come on, Genji. Okay, good job. Good girl. Good morning. Come on, let's go party. Hey, Chica. Come on, Chica. Oh, good morning. Oh, you broke your bellies. Yes. Good morning. Done. Next up, coffee. Get my coffee going. Bam. All right. Now what we want to do for the day is get our little computer going. Let's see what we need to ship out. I did already pull a few things last night, but I did have a sale overnight, so... Y'all can go with me as I pull that, and then I'll show you how I get my shipping done. And for those of y'all who are new to seeing this video, which is probably a lot of you because I am a very new beginner to YouTube. However, I know that when I started reselling, which has been for about a year now, um, I do this part-time only, and uh, I do have a full-time job. Um, that's how I learned what to do, was just watching all kinds of different videos. Uh, my go-tos were Rockstar Flipper, Rally Roots. Um, then I moved into Part-Time Picker and other ones that I've started watching recently have been Renzi. I'm really into the shoe game, as you'll see with a couple of my sales going out today. And then the other, there's another one that I really, there's another girl I really like to watch, but I, uh, I'm having a hard time remembering her name. She's just so, she's so pretty. She's got really long red hair. I mean, her hair is amazing. I mean, it's beautiful hair. What is her name? Um, dang. I'm going to have to tell you about it later. I can't remember. I did end up finding this girl that kind of lives in my area too. Um, I, have, I don't know where I haven't met her, but her uh, she goes by Bob's Bob Sells, Bob Sells, I think. I think her name is Heroin Bob. Um, so I'm like really hoping that maybe one day when I'm out and, out and about at my local um, thrifts, because that's typically where I buy my stuff. I go to thrift stores, um, consignment stores, garage sales, friends and family that are getting rid of stuff. You know, I'm always telling people, hey, don't, I mean, if you want to donate your stuff for the cause, absolutely. But if you don't really care where your stuff goes, I'll take it. Um, and if I can't use it, then I'll donate it, you know. That way they know at least it's still going for a purpose, either for me and my family. I have two kids, 14 and 7. My husband and I, we've been married for over, actually, let's see. We're going to be coming up on, Wow. Time flies, 18 years. Come on, baby. Don't you try to run upstairs, I'll be right back. I knew you were gonna try to go up there. Okay. Okay. Here's your stuff. I'm gonna get that yours out here. There you go. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with my computer this morning. I'm apologize for that. So, all right, let me get going here. 
Um, but anyways, my name is Marcy and I have, I have not really decided what my go-to name is going to be. I always really wanted it to be gold diggers, not gold, like gold diggers. Um, so I'm gonna have to look into that a little more. I think there's a few people that have it already. Um, but I've, I've, I got this gold digger shirt years ago and it was kind of always my go-to tank top in the summertime, you know? Um, but I do sell on eBay, OfferUp, Mercari, Poshmark, and sometimes I even post on Facebook Marketplace. Not that often. I don't really want to have to meet people. Um, I don't know, for safety reasons. I like to be able to just put it online, they purchase it, and I can package that baby up and ship it out, you know? And it's not that I don't like meeting people, but sometimes it can be unsafe for me, especially if I have my daughter with me. So, anywho's, um, eBay, here we go. So I'm going to log into my eBay. I think I, that's where all my sales that I'm shipping out this morning came from, except for one. But I, so when you sell on OfferUp, I don't sell a whole lot on OfferUp, but I had started OfferUp, like when I first started a year ago, I created the Mercari, I created a Mercari account, an OfferUp account, and the eBay account. And primarily I have all of them on eBay. Now I only, I was only hanging around the 100 item mark, like items listed around 100 on eBay. Um, I recently, have really wanted to get in the grind, which is another reason that I figured, hey, why don't I just go on and start documenting what I'm doing, what kind of things I'm selling, because I feel like that's what most people are looking for. In different areas um, of the US, I mean, we all kind of find similar items, but people like to know what's going on on the West Coast and the East Coast, and I am on the East Coast. So, um, you know, I just want to share some of what I'm able to find and what's selling for me and especially any new resellers out there. Hopefully this will give you some ideas on what you can look for when you're out at the store because it's very overwhelming at first. You're like, what the heck do I look for? Well, I've definitely made some not so great buys. I also have tons of money piles. Some people call them death piles. Some people call them money piles, I'm trying to stay positive. Um, do I keep going out and shopping? Yes, and you will find you probably do too. Once you get going, it's awesome. Um, so let's just see what items I need to look for. All right, logging in. Do, do, do. This is the, well, I probably shouldn't show the name. The label for offer up. I print on these self-adhesive um, pages. So I just print right off my regular old printer. I don't have a Dymo. I don't have a Rolo. I know those are some of the things that a lot of the um, full-time full -time or part-time sellers use. I just haven't bought one yet because my little, what is it? I think it's a Lexmark printer has is doing just fine. And I bought like the eight, the eight by ten um, laminated or self-sealing sheets, and it's got two labels on each sheet. So actually what happens when I print it out, it prints the label on one half, and then the other half it gives me the details of the order. And I just save that sheet and put it in my file drawer as inventory that way basically everything that sells and ships out has a label and so then by the end of the year I had everything I sold obviously got a label if it went through eBay and it was in my little sheet there were very few things I think I sold less than a handful of things on marketplace during the whole year because like I said I didn't really I didn't really push that as a sales platform I think I will more so this year possibly. Um, but with um, 
Mercari and offer up, I mean, the sales weren't substantial, so it really wasn't a lot for me to have to keep up with. So just, that's something to really keep in mind too. You should try to give yourself like a weekly plan on how to keep track of what is sold. Because if you don't, month after month, it's gonna just pile up on you and you're gonna be like, oh, how much have I sold? How much have I made? Do I need, you know, making sure you're putting some to the side for taxes. Anywho, um, so my items I sold today, I did put, I'm, I'm looking at them now. I've got one, one, two, three. I already pulled last night. I have one more pair of shoes I need to go pull. It is the DC Rebound High Top Women's Size 11 Skateboard Shoes. Okay, so let's go pull that. You can come along with me. I'm pretty sure that when I did these shoes, I already pre-boxed them, I think. If not, they're in my shoe boxes. Um, no, okay. So that means they are in my shoe boxes over here. So give me one minute and I will pull those out.